Nation of Fit in 10. Welcome to day 22 and scans wrapped up today. Uh, that is the second round of scans wrapped up today and really, really good results. I think this, this is definitely up there as one of the best second rounds that uh, I've ever done. So out of the 19 challenges that I've run, this is the best second round to date. All right, uh, more of a feedback, so let's do it. I am sitting around January 26th, so I am getting up there. This person writes, uh, hmm, I find it really sucks in the morning to weigh myself and see that my weight hasn't changed or that my weight went up. So it would be nice to hear some ways for dealing with those thoughts of why am I not losing any weight when I am doing all the great things for my health? Um, because your weight is not, well, there's many ways I can say this. Your weight and your health do not correlate per se. Okay, so that's the first thing. Secondly, your weight is not influenced solely by the gaining or losing of fat. Okay, so you can easily lose one or two, and I've already talked about this, but I'll just, I'll mention it again because I think it's a good reminder. You could lose one, two, three, four pounds of fat, and you could step on the scale and happen to check at a time where your body is just holding more water. And this will happen to you. This, is, this will happen to you inevitably uh, multiple times. We are not static beings. Okay, our weight is just what it is, you know, plus or minus a certain percentage of weight that's going to fluctuate based on several factors. Um, it can be stress related. It can be sleep related. It can be food related, you know, um, salt intake, carbohydrate intake. Um, it can be medication related. It can be period related. Okay, we are not static beings. We are not just sitting there statically and then either gaining fat or losing fat. No, there is fluid redistrib redistribution that happens in the body. All right, so this is always happening. Always, okay? So you cannot rely on your weight. Now, once when you lose 10 pounds of fat or 15 pounds of fat, yeah, you're gonna see your weight coming down. Okay, at that at that amount you'll see it, but you know you don't, you can't expect to lose that amount in you know a week or two uh, of the program. Okay, H highly unlikely. Most people that come in for their scans, you know, we see usually not not always. I mean, we, we, I have seen some people that ha that are down their water, but more often than not, people are up in their water. Okay, so you know somebody might come in. I, I mean, I had this many many times even this round, somebody comes in, they lose, a, you know, two or three pounds. That's what the in-body says. They tell me before their scan, I haven't lost anything. They lose two or three pounds, their body waters up two or three pounds. And it turns out, you know, they lost five or six pounds of fat. Okay. So you have to, um, you know, just understand that when it's a little bit of fat, you may not see uh, those changes, okay? Also, if you wanna weigh yourself, I talked about this in a couple of videos ago, if you wanna weigh yourself, if you want an accurate, uh, an accurate measurement of weight, take your weight every morning and average it for the week, and then do that the next week, okay? Take your weight every morning, then average it for that week, and then compare week to week. That will give you a better, a more accurate, um, measurement in terms of what's happening with your weight. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean again that you're losing or gaining fat. Okay. So anyways, that's all I'm going to say on that. Cause I already talked about this. Uh, if you go back a couple videos, I talk about, you know, many, many things. Well, I already mentioned in this video, many, many things that can influence your, uh, your body weight. And of course I talked about the time that I was competing and North Americans and I dropped 18 pounds in about 24 hours. Um, I think actually it was less than 24 hours. I think it was 20 hours. I dropped 18 pounds. Okay. And my body composition did not, well, my body fat did not change with those 18 pounds. Okay. It was just manipulation of water. So weight doesn't mean anything necessarily. Uh, name something, something specific you can improve upon for the following week. This person writes, I can weigh everything, including apples, nut butters, eggs. Great. I can buy real popcorn instead of using microwave skinny pop. Absolutely. If you're going to have popcorn, have real popcorn. 
put real butter on it. Put some good salt on there. Okay, some, some pink salt. Okay, I say pink salt because pink salt has other minerals in it. I can plan in advance better. I'm not doing a prep day, but I am buying easy, ready to grab whole foods in the fridge. Example, example, hard boiled eggs to go, canned tuna, apples, bananas. Yeah, this is awesome. This is great. All right, let's move along here. And this person writes, this is under name, something specific you can improve upon for the following week. Better meal planning to hit my macros. This week I was struggling to hit my carbs every day. More cardio. I am just, I am just eager to do another scan. Uh, I have a scale that shows my body fat percentage, but I'm not sure how accurate it is. I've lost a few pounds, but it doesn't seem like my body fat percentage has changed much. I really want to know if my progress is accurate and to see how I have actually done in the last three weeks. All right, so one thing I just wanna say here is your body fat percentage is not necessarily a reflection of a gain or a loss in fat. You can, for example, you can change your body fat percentage if you just gain lean mass, all right? Or even if you're just holding extra water, okay? Ten, ten, generally speaking, if you're holding extra water, okay, especially holding extra water in your muscles, uh, maybe not so much if you just drank a bunch of water and stepped on the in body, but if your body is just holding extra water amongst the you know, interstitially or maybe even outside the, the tissues, um, you know, this is going to be read as lean mass. And if you increase your lean mass, okay, let's just say, for instance, you increase your lean mass, all right, whether you're gaining muscle or like I just mentioned, you're holding extra water and uh, your fat stays the same, your body fat percentage will show as lower, okay? Uh, likewise, you could, lo you could lose some fat, your body water could be down, and your body fat shows as the same, but you actually lost some fat, okay? So your body fat percentage does not tell you the whole story. We can't exactly know what's going on, all right? This is why I don't do body fat percentage in this challenge. This is why I do fat mass, okay? Uh, another question here, are there, 7.45, okay, are there any other home workout exercises we could do to help expedite results? Uh, workout stretches, rolling. Um, if you're doing, for now, especially if you've come from doing really not very much, doing three workouts per week and then doing three cardio, that's enough. That is enough. If you want to do more, if you feel motivated to do more, you can do more. Um, you know, in terms of the ab workouts or, you know, maybe per perhaps more of the deeper tissues like your, you know, if we're doing some sort of plank stuff in class or whatnot, uh, generally we're going to hit this in class to, to some degree. And remember too, that even if uh, we're not doing direct work on the, on your quote core or you know, your, your, the, the more of the superficial muscles, your, your abdominal muscles, uh, we are still hitting these when we are doing a lot of the overhead presses and squats and deadlifts. There's still a lot of stability or overhead server walks, you know, or one arm farmer's walks, etc. cetera. We're, we're working still on those core muscles. Okay. Um, stretching is great. Rolling is great. Wouldn't consider these really workouts. Uh, these, these would be things that would be helpful in just, uh, perhaps reducing soreness to some degree or helping with your mobility, that type of thing. Uh, I would recommend if there's anything I would recommend. Yeah. You could do some stretching on the side or some rolling, that type of thing. Okay. All right. Let's get to the message of the day on this day 22. You cannot, this is kind of uh, appropriate given the first uh, question I read today, you cannot fast track, sorry, you can fast track weight loss. You cannot fast track fat loss. All right. Well, it depends, I guess, on how you define fast track or what you see as fast tracking it. But generally speaking, you can't. Okay. And a perfect example again is, you know, losing 18 pounds to make weight in 20 hours, right? That was weight. That's not fat. Um, and that's very extreme by the way, and that's not something I'd recommend. 
Uh, and weight loss is very easy. Listen, if you want to really, really lose weight and you want to lose it just overnight, super fast, and even just maybe a couple minutes, just cut off your limbs. You'll be way lighter, okay? But I don't think that's really what you want. You don't really want, you know, to be limbless. Um, even though you might weigh less and you might think that that contributes to your health, you need your limbs to be healthy, right? So you certainly wouldn't want to do that. There are many ways to fast track weight loss, okay? And if you want to fast track weight loss and you've got to do things that are extreme, but remember, this is nothing. This is something that you can't, uh, you cannot maintain, okay? We've always got to think long-term. What can we maintain? We've got to think long game, right? Unless it's just about hitting a certain target by a certain date for whatever, okay? In my case, going back to that same extreme example, losing 18 pounds in 20 hours, I was just trying to make weight to make a uh, uh, to make a certain category in bodybuilding to compete. That's it, okay? Um, so when we think about fat loss, we wanna think long-term, okay? Long-term, happy medium. Long-term, happy medium. Okay, what is sustainable? That's what we have to think about, okay? Positive energy, positive vibes, believe in yourself and for the love of God, give some gratitude and I'll talk to you all tomorrow. See you guys.